David, welcome back to Now You Know Tutorials. Um, today I'm going to do this video without any scripts or anything, so bear with me. I might make some mistakes or be a little bit out of order, but all right, let's get started. So you can see up here I have a bunch of different tabs open, and what today's video is going to be about is what is Tinkercad. Um, so I researched that for myself, so this first tab is just about Tinkercad. Here, I researched that and found this page. So, wait for that to load. All right. So, Tinkercad features. Tinkercad is an easy browser-based 3D design and modeling tool for all. Tinkercad allows users to imagine anything and then design it within minutes. So, basically, Tinkercad is... If you've ever, it's by Autodesk, and it's free. If you've ever used Autodesk's 1, 2, 3D design, um, this is a web-based program by Autodesk. It doesn't have all the tools, but it is web-based, and it is free, so I can do it on the Chromebook that I'm doing here. Um, so I'm going to sign in. I have an account already. So... Oh, wrong password. There we go. All right. So you can see in here, I have a number of different projects. So down here, you can see I've made some chess pieces. This is what we're going to do, be doing in my 3D printing tutorials. Um, and I'll show you more about how to use Tinkercad later on in the series. We're going to have a video on that as well. Um, for now, if you notice back in here, it says Tinkercad is an easy-to-use 3D CAD design tool. So I was wondering, what is CAD? So I looked it up. So CAD, computer-aided design software, is used by architects, engineers, drafters, artists, and others to create precision drawings or technical illustrations. CAD software can be used to create two-dimensional drawings or three-dimensional models. So that explains what CAD is. It's basically design software on computers. So, um, yeah, this is pretty much what Tinkercad is. It's completely free, and it is by Autodesk. Um, I trust it, and it is very easy to use. So, uh, my next video is going to be signing up for a Tinkercad account, and then we're going to have more videos on using Tinkercad. And then our last video is going to be 3D printing our chess piece, so that's going to be interesting to see what happens there. So um, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Now you know, and goodbye. Subscribe and like.